Greetings and welcome to today's episode of Life More Smart. I'm your host, Brian Pruitt. If you haven't already done so, press that subscribe button so you'll never miss another podcast. Now for today's episode. Today, I'd like to continue talking to you about fear. This is part two. Let's recap part one first. Fear is the single greatest obstacle to your success. Don't let this be the case. Fear is the root cause of negative emotions. Acknowledging this is a great start in battling the negative thoughts that try to stop you from success. We must beat fear at its game. This is pivotal. When you face your fears and move toward them, they begin to diminish and recede like the ocean's tide. If you back away from your fears, they will grow and can grow to the point they will dominate your life. Remember this, fear paralyzes the imagination if we let it. Autopsies conducted on suicide cases show 10 times more CRH in the brains as compared to those who died from natural causes. So now that we've recapped part one, let's dive into part two. CRH is basically a stress hormone. It triggers an array of additional hormones which are typically not good. When cortisol and adrenaline are running on a rampage through your body, they adversely affect your cardiovascular system resulting in a list of negative effects, such as high blood pressure, heart attacks, strokes, aneurysms, and they're not done yet. They are relentless. They adversely affect your immune system, preventing it from protecting you from infection and disease. This is the last thing we need when striving for success. We're no good to ourselves, our families, our friends, our business partners, if we are not healthy. Well, the frenzy of hormones is not done battering your body yet. The cortisol will then shower your brain's nerve cells, causing memory loss and affecting your ability to be creative. Again, this is the last thing we need when striving to be successful. Research shows us that fear activates more than 1,400 known physical and chemical responses in more than 30 different hormones into the body. So it's no surprise, or it shouldn't be, that one faces an uphill battle when trying to be successful. We are facing resistance from the body, and that resistance is called fear. So how do we battle fear? One way is to visualize your desired outcome. Don't rehearse the fear. Fear is just in our minds. False evidence appearing real. Focus on the outcome that we want, not the outcome the fear is trying to convince us will happen. Remember this, the shadow of the dog hasn't bitten anyone. So let's acknowledge and agree that fear is out there. But starting today, we won't let the fear stop us from our success. Resist it, overcome it, conquer it, and move forward. Have dominance over the fear. Well, I hope these two podcasts on fear have given you a little insight on how to beat fear and move ahead as a winner. So let me leave you with this. Everything you've always wanted is just on the other side of fear. Well, that's it for today, everyone. Have a successful day, and I hope you join us again here soon.